I feel like I'm getting this question more and more. People are asking me, my emotes look distorted. What am I doing wrong? How do you get them to look good? So today we're going to do a video talking exactly about that. What is happening when you scale your emotes down? What are you supposed to do? Maybe what you're doing wrong. Maybe it's just what you don't understand. Let's get into it. I've got more emote tutorials on my channel besides this one. So if you want to check those out, be sure to subscribe. Now to understand what happens when we shrink down our emotes, let's take a look. So here's one that I've done and uh, I do my emotes at 500 by 500 pixels on a 90 DPI canvas. So you can see that is what we have here. Now, when we shrink it down, We'll shrink it down to 28 by 28. And this is what we get. Uh, let's zoom in. And this is actually what you're looking at when you see it in chat is these are the pixels that you're seeing. So literally, for those of you that don't understand this part, I'll explain it. 28 by 28 pixels means we can, we can count them across one, two, three. Can you see my little cursor at the bottom? Four, five, six, seven you know, all the way across. So we got 28 by 28 uh, across and down. And that's all we have to work within when it gets, you know, shrunk down. Now, how the computer decides what pixels go when shrunk down is like averaging it out. So if you can imagine a little corner here, this will become like one pixel. So it averages that out and it decides that is this color right here. You can color pick it. it, becomes that color. So it averages out the pixels. So people will be like, oh, my, my emote doesn't look clear. My emote looks like all pixely and distorted. Well, yeah, because it's at 28 by 28. So ultimately, usually the answer for people is I find is it's not that you're doing anything wrong when you're shrinking down. You're just surprised to see it like this. Okay, so this is this is what happens. So again, it's really not that anybody else's emotes are cleaner than yours are or that there's some magic trick when you shrink them down to get it to look smooth and clean. It's really not that. What it is is just having a really good understanding of how to make an emote so that when it is small, it is easily understandable what that is. So. After this video, I'm actually going to make a whole other video talking about how to make your emotes look good small. So stay tuned for that. I'll actually just stick it in the top right on a card so you can click it if you want once I have that video made. There is one possible thing you do want to watch out for though that actually can wreck your emotes when you shrink them down is it, it happens when you use vector layers, which I recommend and don't worry about that if you don't know what it is. If you do, then the tip is really just to merge it together before you shrink it down. So vector would be like this layer here, gives you the option to like change the thickness. I find that super useful. If you shrink it down before a merge, the lines don't read right. Like they don't come out right. So we merge it together, then shrink it down. That looks that looks way better. I hope this uh, helps you guys understand a bit better about how emotes work, because it's really just the understanding that it's 28 pixels across, you know, and down, and that's all you have to work within. So really it's about optimizing your space. And again, I'll do another video teaching exactly uh, what you need to do, what to look for, how to optimize your space for that shrink down and that'll come after this one. So it's it's probably not that anybody's doing anything special uh, better than you, but I hope the tips in this video help you and that your emote making goes well. And thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next one.